What is up guys, this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 7 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you how can you get the ANX camera working on the Redmi Note 7 Pro and like the most out of the ANX camera you can get with this method and I'm gonna test the ANX camera as far as I can because like I have downloaded all the things which are needed let me show you with this website you can go to this camera.aonx or aonax.com and from here you can download the NX camera if you need it and you can just click to expand on this green area you will get all the full versions of this NX camera as you can see all the versions are listed and here 166 I'm gonna try this one first as this is the latest version but you can try also the older ones and I've also downloaded some older ones and talking about the fix on this red area you will find the fixes as you can see there are this 48 megapixel fix for Android Q and stuff this is like 160 and above I guess and there is also this like 48 megapixel for violet fix and this is the version 127 now there are things that which will work only on Android 9 and like the latest versions are for Android Q so I have downloaded the files let me show you here I have downloaded the version 166 the latest version and here we have the 48 megapixel fix as like version 160 48 megapixel android q fix i'll first try this latest versions and see if it actually works and how much does it work and by the way i'll be using the latest stable orange fox recovery to flash this nx camera you can also use magisk if you have magisk but like the flashing procedure will be pretty similar to this so if you have magisk just follow the same procedure with magisk but i'm gonna use the orange fox recovery here and by the way i'm on the latest pixels os over here if you haven't checked out that video here is a card for you and this is like this rom has this stock camera as old kind of google camera which is pretty bad and kind of gets stuck pretty much like most of the time so yeah let me just reboot to recovery now we have successfully rebooted to recovery so now I'm gonna go to my download folder and here I'll first try the 166 version and see what's working then I'll boot back and try the 48 megapixel fix if the 48 megapixel does not work. And by the way let me tell you that if you have flashed the ANX camera and let's guess if you want to uninstall you just flash the same file again and that will uninstall that same file. Like let's assume I have flashed the ANX camera 166 and 48 megapixel fix I reboot it and then if I try to uninstall well I will have to flash the ANX camera 166 and the 48 megapixel fix again and that will uninstall all the things. I hope you get my point. So right now let's just flash this the latest version anx camera 166 and by the way on this whole process you don't need to wipe anything so here as you can see we still have the old google camera i'll just remove it from the home screen and here i have added the anx camera over here which appeared on the like app drawer and here if i open it it will ask for the permission of course now i'll allow all the things so here as you can see the back camera is kind of working fine and if I go into the 48 megapixel mode and if I take a picture, I'm pretty sure it won't take a 48 megapixel picture. Let me show you. So here, if I go into the info, so as you can see, this is a 2.8 megapixel picture, not a 48 megapixel one. So right away, I can tell that the 48 megapixel mode is kind of not working. But of course, with this camera, you can take normal pictures like selfies and stuff you can take, which will work pretty fine. No issues with taking normal photos but as soon as you switch to the video mode pretty sure it will give you a like camera error as you can see it says can't connect to camera so yeah this problem is there and i think even if i like flash the 48 megapixel q fix it will still be there right now let's just reboot to recovery again and flash the 48 megapixel q fix now i'm gonna just like select this 48 megapixel fix q version 160 and swipe to confirm flash right now let's just open the camera app and switch to the 48 megapixel mode and now let's take a 48 megapixel picture i mean let's take the picture normally and let's open the picture and here if i go into the image and as you can see the 48 megapixel mode is actually working this picture says it is 48 megapixel 6000 by 8000 resolution 16 mb is the size of this picture so yeah the like 48 megapixel picture should be working fine now let's test the normal camera with the front camera and stuff yeah so it still works the portrait mode should be working as you can see the portrait mode is working here now let's go to the video mode and it for stopped but actually the video mode works but you have to do some tweaks 
well i am re-editing this video to like include this footage and i deleted the previous video because of this so i wanted to show you guys about this thing and you can get the video mode working on the latest versions of the like version 166 of anx camera but as soon as i switch to the video mode as you can see the camera shows error so to fix this issue let me show you how can you do that let's open the camera app again and now go to the short video section and here as you can see the video mode will be working and if you go into the settings now and like just disable this image stabilization once you do that let me go back and now if you switch to the video and from here just go to the settings and just put the settings to something else like 4k 30 fps or i mean maybe just 1080p 60 fps let's try this one so yeah it seems like it's working let's shoot this video And as you can see, after changing the video settings, it is working fine. You can shoot videos right now with your Redmi Note 7 Pro without any issues if you do the tweak just as I showed. So that is how you can get the NX camera with video working on the Redmi Note 7 Pro. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. And this is Tito from Kerry and Tech signing off for today. And I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye-bye now.